Ladies and gentlemen, greetings from New York. I am honored to have been invited to address your meeting in my capacity as Director of the Division for Social Policy and Development in the United Nations Department of Economic and Social Affairs, the focal point for disability issues within the UN system. Your focus today on the synergies between inclusion, accessibility and sustainability in the context of the new urban agenda speak well to our own efforts in the Division for Social Policy and Development and across the whole UN system to ensure social inclusion and well-being for all. Last year, the international community adopted the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development with the two overarching themes of eradicating poverty and reducing inequalities. Within the SPD, the division I lead, we see the outcome of Habitat 3 and the implementation of the new urban agenda as an important opportunity to advance accessibility and inclusion for all of all ages, but in particular for persons with disabilities, older persons and many others with special needs. In the SPD, we seek to promote effective policy making and development planning that ensures not only that all persons with disabilities are fully empowered to realize their rights, but that society understands that it is the lack of attention to and inclusion of the needs of this segment of the society that makes their situation disabling. It is not the inability to see that excludes a visually impaired child from education. It is the lack of non-visual learning options that excludes them. You see, we have enjoyed a good partnerships with the ESSL Foundation and the World of Future Council over the past years, particularly in addressing accessibility and urban development. Together, we published a resource material on good practices of accessible urban development and with your support and the added teamwork from the government of Ecuador, many UN agencies and other international organizations, we just successfully concluded our own DESA high-level forum on disability, inclusion and accessible urban development held in Quito on the 16th of October. I look forward to our continued partnership in the years to come as we promote full inclusion and accessibility in implementing the new urban agenda and the 2030 agenda for all, of all ages. I thank you for the opportunity to address you today and look forward to the outcomes of what will surely be a successful meeting. Thank you.